Nobody has seen Anna Walsh since just after midnight on New Year's Eve. And the next time her husband's internet search history, the next day, it includes searches about how to dismember a body and what to do with crime scene clothes. That said, he's been charged with murder, but police have not found uh, the body. Nobody has seen Anna Walsh since just after midnight. Evan Lambert uh, has been all over this story from the start, was in the courthouse this morning. He joins us now. Uh, in terms of focusing on what new we've learned, Evan, uh, one of the searches, can you identify a body with broken teeth? If you hadn't just killed your wife, why on earth would you be searching for that on New Year's Day? Yeah, Leland, right. And that's the story that prosecutors are making out, right? That Brian Walsh killed his wife, Anna Walsh, 39 years old, the mother of his three children. And these Google searches that they detailed today where Brian allegedly made these from his young son's iPad, you know, how to clean blood from wood, how long until a body starts decomposing, things minute by minute over two days in those first moments after Anna Walsh was last seen, this is on January 1st and January 2nd, making these very detailed Google searches about what you would do if you had just killed someone. Uh, and of course, uh, one of the things that the prosecutor said in court this morning was even before this, before uh, the murder, on December 27th, he had Googled the best state to divorce for a man. They say instead of divorcing her, he killed her, dismembered her body, and, and got rid of the remains in multiple places that ended up in, in an incinerator, essentially. Yeah, no, yeah, we, and we, we, that, that, that's part of the problem, right? Um, and we, you know, we just say, Brian Walsh said um, he didn't kill his wife, pleaded not guilty, but investigators still haven't found her body, uh, yet they believe they have the evidence to charge her with murder. One of the things uh, that your reporting's uncovered, you've been on this story since the very beginning, leading our coverage, doing a great job, is you first reported the DA's taped announcement of murder charges. So we got the tape yesterday, it was released, but it was filmed five days ago. Uh, I, I know that you figured out that that happened. Do we know why? Right, so this is something that I noticed as soon as the email, the news release went out announcing these charges yesterday. You click on the video, and when I first looked at it, it said unlisted, posted five days ago. Uh, and so we've been doing some digging into that. Uh, what we understand and what this shows is obviously that investigators had been building this case against Brian Walsh for murder. Of course, we know that he was initially charged with lying to investigators, but we know that they knew where this was going several days back. Mm -hmm. uh, and we haven't been able to uncover the exact details of why it was recorded early, but obviously uh, there was a sense that these charges would be announced. And so in preparation of that, and the DA yeah. on film making this announcement, it happened a few days before yeah, you have to wonder what came it. in between those two times. I got 30 seconds, but uh, this is surveillance video that you obtained of Brian Walsh on the trip he said he took to get ice cream for a kid, but it was a juice bar. And Brian Walsh, did he not show up there at all? Yeah, so this is actually one of the places that he told investigators that he went in those initial days after his wife's disappearance that actually checked out. He was on surveillance video. He said he was getting his kid chocolate ice cream. It was a, it's a smoothie shop, uh, but they don't really have chocolate. They do have a kid's menu, maybe some kind of chocolate mm. banana smoothie or something like that. Uh, but, but that was kind of strange to investigators. I think in the initial arrest affidavit, they put ice cream. They don't have ice cream there, but he was there. Fascinate. That's what the surveillance video shows that we obtained. Uh, really only one of the things right. that he hey, I mean, I actually gotta, I told them run. That they say was keep, the truth. Keep at it. I know you will. I know you're a big part uh, of the 10 p.m. show. Ashley Banfield will be up there. Uh, you're leading uh, off with the reporting there and, and everything you found on the case. Great work. Thanks, Leland. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.